Okay, so for the eggs, I'm gonna start out with six, just six whole eggs. Um, I don't put milk in my eggs or anything. I don't think they need it. And we'll see where we go with, with the six eggs. shells. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Not even a lot of that because there's a lot of flavor in those meats. And I'm just going to whisk it up. So there is one tray done. I'm just going to grab another one. And I'm definitely going to need more eggs. So each one of these little things take about an egg for each one. So I need one, two, I need six more. You want to make sure the eggs and the yolks are in uh, the yolks and the whites are incorporated well, so it's like a pale yellow color. So for the three pack of four, you get four sticks per, you would need to have 12 eggs. Um, and you can use one to two of the egg sticks um, per burrito that you make. I'm gonna be doing one for mine and two for my husband's. Um, but yeah, so now all we have to do is put a little bit of water into our Instapot, put aluminum foil on top of these and set them for 30 minutes.
now we're going to add a little bit of water just barely enough to go across the bottom because you don't want to flood your containers and we're going to put the eggs in there where's my top here it is We're going to put the lid on. Turn it on poultry, 30 minutes. Again, make sure your steamer is turned to control your steam. Uh, and you want it on high, on high pressure. And in 30 minutes, we're going to let this naturally release. Um, it, that means you don't move your knob to let go of the steam just so they can uh, make sure that they're fully cooked and make sure they get really firm. Because since you are wrapping them into a burrito, you wanna make sure they are firm. Okay, the next thing we need is we need three fourths of a cup of carrots. I'm going to put a little extra in there. Three of them is probably going to be about a cup and a half. But, um, I really like to have those. Oh, I guess I should have my peeler. Just little medallions of them. Half a cup of celery. I'm just going to use two stalks and I'm going to use a little bit of the celery leaf. Just go in and make sure that you get the ends if they look bad. Just chop those off. actually a lot of flavor in the celery leaves so I leave them on and put them in especially when making soup And I'm doing one can of chickpeas and two cans of cannellini beans. chicken stock. We need tomato paste, which I highly recommend getting one in a tube like this. Sometimes you don't need a lot and that way you're not wasting it because this stays good in the fridge for a long time. And need my Italian seasoning. I can find it. I'll scrub the big one out. Fresh red pepper, salt, 
salt and pepper like that. And then the other part is garnish. So now we get to put it all together. Okay. So now we are going to put everything in the crock pot. So I'm going to that. Take that out so we don't need that. And then we are going to hit saute. I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, spray olive oil. Hit the bottom. And I'm going to start with the uh, onions and carrot, or onions and celery. Get those in there. It takes a couple minutes for them to um, start to sizzle a little bit. It's turning on and doing its magic. I'm going to come back when this is going good. Okay, now we are back and the celery and carrots are sauteing. I'm going to go ahead and add my herbs in. I'm not really going to measure them because I know it'll be good. Um, but I'll link the recipe down below so you have the recipe to go by. Now this, I'm not just going to That's about all I'm going to use for the whole thing because it's red pepper flakes and I don't want it too hot. Oh, helps if I open it. Now that we got that started, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and I'm going to throw the onions, the shallot, and the bacon in. Give it a little zhuzh. And then we're just going to put the rest of the ingredients in. So we got the garbanzo beans or chickpeas as some of you may know them. And lady beans. And the broth. Uh, I use unsalted broth. You can use whatever you like. I like to be able to control how much salt or no salt that I want. And I am going to grab, I have another half a container I'm going to grab. extra vegetables and stuff so I would just want to make sure that the beans are completely covered to the top and a little extra and then we're just gonna put the top on there we go make sure that your bobber is upward so you have it on and then I switch it to soup hit cancel on the saute hit soup 35 minutes and it'll start doing its thing and then we'll be done. I'm gonna serve this with grilled cheese sandwiches. I'm not gonna film that because I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to make a grilled cheese and uh, I'll include a photo of the soup at the end of the video. Have a good one.
So I did pick up some things that I get every time I order from Thrive Market, as well as getting some things uh, that I don't normally order just so I could try some new things out. One of the new things is this sweet leaf sugar-free stevia syrup. It's maple flavored. Um, it did come in a plastic bag and it is also taped across the top so that the lid doesn't pop open. I got two cans of the Ora Bora peppermint watermelon seltzer water. I uh, thought I would give those a try. I like seltzer waters. Um, I got the uh, Fodi Low Food Map and Gut Friendly Teriyaki Marinade. I have got this one before um, and I really do like it. It has no onion or no garlic in it um, and it is also gluten-free, uh, certified vegan and keto friendly. Uh, this one is a new one to me. This is the Sanjay uh, Gluten-Free Thai Peanut mild spicy marinade and dipping sauce. I haven't tried this one before. Um, it's gluten-free and non-GMO. Uh, looks pretty good. It's got like some good spices in there. And then I got another one of the Fodi Low uh, Food Map and Gut Friendly No Onion, No Garlic Korean Barbecue. Um, I have gotten this one before. I've used it with steak and chicken and it is really, really good. I ordered another thing of my peanut butter that I like. I believe this is um, six points for two tablespoons, but I only use a tablespoon at a time for three points. I ordered some Boom Chicka Pop. I actually ordered two bags of this. One bag has already been snacked on, um, but it is really good. It is um, five points on blue for two cups. I picked up two of the sweet potato uh, multi-grain tortilla chips. I get these every time I place an order because uh, I can't find them in my local grocery store and I absolutely love these. And then I got some new items. Um, I got a thing of the Thrive Market brand Thyme as well as Paprika. Uh, I am redoing my spice shelf and am going to need these. So I thought I would try them out and they were decently priced. Um, I ordered two things of organic black beans. These are uh, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, preservative-free, no added sugar, sweeteners, and low sodium. And then I got these to try. These are the refried beans. Um, they do have regular sodium in them, but the rest is all the same with uh, being organic, non-GMO, and gluten-free, as well as vegan and preservative-free. And then I got organic kidney beans to try. Um, these are also low sodium, no sugar, um, preservative free, vegan, made in the USA, gluten free, non-GMO, and organic. Um, kind of stocked up on, you know, some staples. And then I got these organic garbanzo beans. Same situation, low sodium, the whole nine. Uh, and that is what I got from Thrive Market. I did want to show you guys though, um, because I did get some questions on packaging. Um, so when they send glass items, they will be inside of a plastic bag, and then they are in this corrugated, um, kind of like accordion style. They wrap it up really good. Each one is individually wrapped up. Um, anything liquid, like uh, the syrup, was in a plastic thing and like I said the caps are taped so that they are safe and secure and then they have dividers in the boxes um, to keep your chips away from canned goods and, and, and just in case anything leaks um, it is like an l-shaped uh, piece of cardboard in there so if something leaks it's not going to leak over into the next section which I think is really great um, do I recommend Thrive Market absolutely uh, this is not sponsored. I just love Thrive Market and I love the goods that I get from them and I will continue to order from them again and again. If you want to try them out, there's a link down below. I think I get some Thrive Cash or something like that uh, if you sign up under my link, um, but I am not getting paid for the promotion of it. I just wanted to share what I got. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.